So good day guys. Today we will discuss the API for our Node.js and Node MCU integration using Socket.io. So these are the packages that I've used. So Node.mon for auto restart of the API will watch the main file which is this the app.js. So obviously Socket.io for the communication. These three packages, the PG and the SQLize CLI is for the database connection. Moment is for uh, time and date format. Express for our server, then that env to read this file, the env file, and course to allow us to access uh, cross origin. So this is our main file. So we'll bring up the dependencies and. This uh this code uh, you can see in the npm in the in npm site so I just copy paste it. So this is to one uh, to enable a uh, course in our app. Then uh, body parser to parse uh, JSON request. Then port three thousand. Then this is our server. That will listen on the port we have declared here and we store it in a variable for our socket IO. So we declare our socket connection, uh, socket server by this line. And we export this variable uh, to be accessed in this file, the use cases. This is, this is the main file for our uh, functions in the sockets here I will explain that later so it's back here in the main file uh, so this this is this is the function that came from here this file then just export the app so in the next direct in the source uh, source file then data access this is uh, this directory the data access is for our database so first, uh, the SQLize is you can I will put the this the link in the in bill in the comments below a uh, description I mean for the official site of the SQLize. So in the SQLize migration, because uh, I don't have internet right now, so I will just put it there. You need this file for a dynamic uh, configuration of the SQLize. So I put here the config in this directory uh, all all the files I mean so this when you run the npx sqlize in it it will generate this uh, folder for us so in the config file uh, this is for the connection in our database so if the en environment is development it will use this uh, credentials test environment these credentials and for production then in the migra migrations file uh, if the sqlize will create your table by this uh, by this command here then the models is what you defined your uh, tables to be so i have now have one model which has only one field uh, trigger to then the seeders I don't have seeders but this folder is uh, when you want uh, data to be uh, to be seed in your database uh, for example like admin account or anything that is prerequisite for your system to run so start it here sorry for my dog it's barking again so just ignore my dog so we have, we're done with the SQLize folder. So next is we have the, this is the query for our lead, uh, lead uh, logs. So we only have two queries. The insert, uh, this create um, query is from the SQLize uh, documentation. So just see it there. Also uh, just the insert and the select query so that's it and then we will export the query uh, variable 
and we will uh, the models uh, from here is from the sequelize and we will uh, we need it to con uh, to conduct query and uh, like that so this is our the variable for our database and we export it and it is called in this file so the leds db is here and this io file is from our main file here this one oops so it's so this is the the use case or where the process is from uh, where we process our data from the clients so first this when a client is has connected uh, this code is from uh, is also from the npm page of the socket io so when a client is connected then it will do this uh, do these codes so first when a client has connected it will it will emit to all clients that it will get the status of the lead so when example when uh when the browser is ref refreshed so whatever the status of the lead even if it is turned on or off it will automatically get what the status is So when the client uh, emit one, then it is uh, turned on using the app. Uh, we will insert it to the database here, and it will emit the value of one to all the clients again. So that all the clients will have, so example uh, in the web app will turn it on so all the other clients will also turn on like that so same here in when zero is received turn off uh, insert to the database then emit zero to all the clients so in the manual manual button which is in the hardware so when uh, the button is pressed the hardware will emit manual the manual string with the data of 0 or 1 so when the data is 0 then it will insert to the database this turn off man through manual switch then emit to all clients so the all clients will turn off with the value of 0 and otherwise uh, turn on so emit 1 to all clients so please take note of this uh, string or the message so in the manual it's just msg but on when using the app it is the word message so take note of that we will discuss it later so get the status of the lead then in the logs when the client emit logs to the server the server will return the logs to the client so this query is from here let's db this query so it will just select all then order by id descending limit by 10 so that's all for the api i guess so let's just check So that's all. So in the next part, we will discuss the code for the app. So see you guys there. Thank you.